covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. And we begin with breaking news at this hour. Georgia Pacific announcing today they're shutting down the equipment and processes supporting the bleach board operations at its CrossFit facility in October. Approximately 530 jobs at the facility will be ultimately impacted by these closures. About 25 businesses and sale jobs also will be affected. During the next month, Georgia Pacific will begin discussions with union leadership and the hourly and salary the rather workforce on how the process will work for employees affected by the job reductions, including the potential to transfer to other Georgia Pacific locations. Historic flooding across Arkansas has communities along the Arkansas River waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. We want to begin with meteorologist Pat Walker as we are monitoring these levels. And where are they right now, Pat? Oh, well, it's been some good news for today, especially in, in West Arkansas, where the levels started dropping yesterday and it's really falling off very rapidly now at Van Buren. The latest at 33 feet, still rapidly falling, still in that major flood stage, but soon it's going to drop out of major flood stage. It looks like at Van Buren. We're falling uh, in Ozark and in Dardanelle as well. It's falling right now. Right now now is now dropped below the old record flood stage at Darnell. So there's some good signs there. But at Moralton, we have just now started to fall off in Moralton after reaching a record crest in Totsa. Basically, we are cresting right now well in that record flood stage and, and still kind of cresting even in, in Little Rock right now too. Earlier, just about an hour or two ago, Little Rock did reach 29.53 feet. Now it's down a tenth of a foot. Still in the cresting process, it looks like for this afternoon at Little Rock and in Pine Bluff, we are still on the way up. We're going to be cresting, it looks like, in a couple more days on Thursday, just below a record flood stage in, in Pine Bluff. And, and then, then farther down the river in Pendleton, cresting on Friday. Right now, it's in record flood stage at Pendleton. And look at this, it's going to be cresting Friday, but it looks like even through most of next week, it's still going to be in the major flood stage even at Pendleton. So we still have more than a week to go, it looks like, before all this flooding is finally pretty much wrapped up here in the state. Mallory? Thank you. And like you were saying, the river has yet to crest in some areas. With homes and businesses underwater, neighbors are already helping neighbors in what could be a long road to recovery. Governor Asa Hutchinson taking a tour of damage caused by floodwaters across the state. Tyler Thomason is traveling with the governor today. Tyler. Mallory, yeah, good afternoon. We're coming to you from the Island Harbor area of Jefferson County. It's just northeast of the University of Arkansas of Pine Bluff. And moments ago, Governor Asa Hutchinson was right here in this area with different officials from the area getting an update from them on the conditions here. I'm going to point you out to this way. Uh, this is where some homes, as you can see, are basically underwater. Governor Asa Hutchinson learned today from Jefferson County officials that about 500 homes in the Jefferson County area have been affected by the flooding uh, that has happened across the state and it sounds like according to Hutchinson that's one of the largest areas in, a, in one concentrated proximity of a county that so many homes have been affected so it's something that definitely got the governor's attention um, and he spent this afternoon for a few minutes touring not only this neighborhood but a couple other surrounding areas uh, and just getting information from some of these county officials he said in his meeting with the emergency management crews that he plans to send uh, a finished report uh, to the federal to federal agencies to try to gather some resources from the federal ag agencies in terms of FEMA and, and other ways that they can assist uh, the state of Arkansas. So again, get Governor Hutchinson just left this area here. I believe he's going to tour a few more neighborhoods in Jefferson County. But again, what we learned today, 500 homes in the Jefferson County area affected in some way by this flooding and according to emergency officials uh, most of those homes people in those homes did leave their homes uh, they did say that a select few did choose to ride it out um, but again it's something that uh, the sheriff's office the emergency management office and the police departments are heavily monitoring at this time live in Jefferson County I'm Tyler Thomason for Arkansas today we'll send it back to you Tyler thank you and here in the capital city the Arkansas River is expected to crest today meteorologist Kristen Kennedy joined joins us live in Little Rock, where the river level right now expected to crest. What do you see right now, Kristen? 
Hey, Mallory. Well, it's certainly an impeccable site. Right now, I'm on the Junction Bridge in Little Rock, and all around me, the Arkansas River continuing to charge through the city, and it's actually making a big impact, causing flooding in some locations. Like the Riverfront Park here, you can see the walkway completely washed away, overtaken by the flooding Arkansas River. And it's also charging very quickly. The current here is very strong. It is great to see that people are certainly coming out to enjoy the sights safely. And now I will say this is the highest I've ever seen it, the highest many people have ever seen it. And their reactions are pretty incredible. We got one of the worst floods I've ever seen in Arkansas. I've been here 48 years and I've never seen this river like this. Never. It's a historical flood, man. It's historical. Everyone wants to come see this. It's going to be a major cleanup effort, that's for sure. If it just quits raining, it just seems like it just keeps on and on and on. It's going to get worse. We don't need no more rain. Well, I think this is his way of telling us to wake up. Nothing but the work of God. God telling us to calm down, tone it down. Really full. It's crazy. see how high it is because I'm 31 and I've never seen it this high before. It, it's incredible. It's rolling. I've never seen it this high. I mean, we see floods, but I've never seen it like this. So yes, for my day and age, this is a historical flood and I want us to be a part of it. <laughs> right down here used to be a sidewalk you can walk. It's flooded. It's definitely spread out a lot. There's a lot of stuff that I'm used to saying not covered up, covered up. Let's put it like that. It's Mother Nature's doing its work. Everybody, please Please be safe and check on your family and loved ones, man. Well, everyone is certainly taking caution here on the Junction Bridge, just walking by, taking pictures, doing it the safe way rather than getting closer to the river and getting nearby and taking pictures. That's certainly not what we advise anyone to do. Again, the current charging very quickly. It is forecast to crest today, reaching its highest level for this historic flooding event. It will then be dropping its levels. However, it's going to take some time. I just checked recently and it doesn't look like until next week that we'll be out of the major flood stage. Kristen Kennedy live in Little Rock. Kristen, thank you. President Trump promising federal funding to help Arkansas clean up. That's on top of two emergency declarations signed recently by the governor. Moving forward, members of Congress want the Corps of Engineers to look at the waterway that connects Oklahoma and Arkansas that led to all this flooding. The first thing I think we ought to do is get the Oklahoma and Arkansas delegations talking together about what should we do uh, unique following this event that might help the Corps better manage the McClellan Kerr River navigation systems. That navigation system opened in 1971 and has been closed for commercial activity during the recent flooding. It is unclear when it will open back up. As baseball season continues on, we